Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Edgewater, Saskatchewan, and we've got some uh, canola harvest to get through today. We've been letting everything run here. The swather is off somewhere, getting its job done on this field. And the combine has finally caught up on all of the headland passes. And we're working on these up and down rows now, and it looks like we're just about full. So we're going to sneak out here with the white get him unloaded and go take this first semi-load hopefully up to the farmyard here and uh, make sure we've got our bins all set up and ready to go for the rest of our canola harvest here we're gonna be doing pretty good i think on yields on this field i'm excited to see us getting our crops off of the uh, farm here i'm trying to decide where we expand from here i know we just picked up that one big field over there I think maybe we need to just buy up some more fields and uh, start getting some bigger equipment maybe out here. I know a lot of people keep asking, why am I swapping these fields instead of just combining them? It seems like a lot of extra work and it is a lot of extra work, but we're getting a 20% yield bonus on all of the canola that we're picking up off of these fields. And 20% uh, is pretty substantial for me. So I think that uh, justifies the extra work that we're putting in here and uh, putting a lot of extra crops into the bins as a result. Looks like we've uh, emptied out the combine here. So I'm gonna let him just continue on. We're not quite as full as I'd like to be. So I'm gonna shut down the grain cart here for a minute and we're gonna run over here and figure out where our poor, uh, driver got all messed up over here on the fence looks like we didn't quite make the turnaround i'm going to turn this mode on that's supposed to i think show me where we were working and i don't know what that's uh, supposed to represent at all right now to be honest there's no curved uh, part on this field that we should be uh, hitting so let me just pop this open. It looks like I was supposed to take this path down. And then what were we supposed to do from here is the question. Well, let me just uh, run a little bit ways down here and then I think I'll just turn him on and see what he does. It's always something with course play. This, uh, this whole diagonal cut right there, that's just really surprising. I have no idea what was going on there. It probably means we're going to end up having to go clean that all up manually at some point here. Yeah, it looks like this is where it went wrong. All right, well, let's just stop him again here. I'm guessing that what should have happened is that we, we cut this section down right here and then we spin around and take this next section. Now, I've made a giant mess out of that, so at some point we're going to be coming back down here, I think, and cleaning up. So let me just uh, make a bigger mess out of this right now while we're here. That way at least the crop is on the ground, and I know that we're going to need to uh, pick this up manually with the combine. It is what it is. And then we'll get going here. We're back on track, I think. It should just start uh, working its way down the next part of the field here, though. And if it doesn't, we'll figure it out then. All right, looking good, looking good. Man, there is uh, not much overlap on these up-down rows. It looks uh, really strange seeing the uh, header pick up crops over uh, that far, but that's all right, as long as it's working, I suppose. And with that back under control, let's go ahead and uh, follow the combine down the long rows here. Get a little bit more into this uh, grain cart and see if we can fill up the back of the semi finally. The combine's nowhere near full, but we did get quite a bit in there. I was uh, surprised we had so much already, honestly. We got over 400 bushels in here already. That seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get it into the semi. I don't have nearly as much in this back hopper as I uh, remember from the previous episode apparently so I might be a little ambitious here but I think honestly rather than uh, sit around and wait for us to get one more hopper I'm gonna run this semi up to the bin anyway regardless of how full we are after we empty out here just so that we can uh, have something to do keep things uh, moving 
I never like to sit idle, especially in the middle of harvest. I always want to be go, go, going. All right, all emptied out. Let's get this guy back onto the other field real quick so he's not in the way when I bring the semi back up here. And now that I say that, honestly, I think we'll probably put the semi out in this field anyway to fill up moving forward. So we'll just park right out here in the open area. Nobody should be needing to drive through here for a while. And uh, here we go. Oh, we almost filled up that back hopper. It's uh, we're at 94% total. Not too shabby. We've already got the entire set up all ready to go for us here so all i should have to do is drive on over and start dumping in theory there it goes one two three right into the bin and we'll just run over here it's going in good times our uh, truck's starting to get a bit dirty here we're gonna have to wash this thing up at some point the uh drive over auger here the soaring eagle drive over that we're using to unload right now has just released on the mod hub on uh oh, what would it be april 5th so if you're uh, looking to get your hands on this thing it is now finally publicly available on the in-game mod hub so go ahead and give that a download and uh, a big five star rating for um bc bueller there he's put a lot of hard work into some of these mods and uh I have to say it's worked out great. It's been one of my favorite additions to the game in this series because it works so well with uh, auto drive and uh, these hopper bottom trailers lets me use a normal bin setup without uh, having any worries. So I'm loving it. I also just saw the message on the 9610. I think we're out of fuel on our combine. So as soon as we're done dropping off this canola here, I'm going to uh, take this truck back out to the field and get it parked and then we'll have to jump in this pickup and go get another load of fuel i still haven't put a fuel barrel on the farm yet shame on me now i know it gave me a fuel warning but uh, the question is is it actually out of fuel and stopped it is look at that unfortunate all right we're gonna just uh have to go 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 then and get us some fuel now, if I recall, the gas station is actually up in this northern town. Uh, last time we tried to get fuel, I think I went to the other town and there was no gas station down there. So we're going to try and save ourselves the hassle and get up here the first time and do this right. The nice curvy roads back here. I always forget how uh, adventurous the terrain is. All right, if I recall correctly, I can fill up my diesel as long as the uh, right-hand side of our tank is pointed in towards the uh, fuel tanks. Seems to be working all right. And man, is it thirsty. But I know both of these uh, tractors are going to need a lot of fuel. And I'm going to just top off this entire diesel tank. We did take out a little bit more of a loan. Turns out you can't refuel without money. Woo, almost uh, $2,000 in fuel costs. That's, uh, that's a pretty price point. Well, we better go ahead and get back up here to the farm. We got to get that combine moving without fuel. It's not doing us a whole lot of good. So we're going to put the pedal down here and see if we can get up there in a hurry. As long as we're coming from the top side here, I figured we do have a driveway entrance right down here. I could probably sneak in and get to the combine a whole lot easier than trying to drive through the farmyard. So every once in a while, I remember the easy way to do things. Usually I prefer to do them the hardest way possible, it feels like. All right, so you, in real life, at least, you would uh, park the fuel truck over on this side because I think uh, this door over here is what opens up to let you get up into the engine compartment. So we're going to try that out, see how it works. And I'm not getting a refuel. I'm going to back up a little bit more there. There we go. We just needed to be close enough. Perfect. Look at that. Now we're good to go. Gonna hit us the play button here. And he should get going. 
Awesome sauce. All right. So that's all good to go. I'm going to hop in the truck here and we're going to actually refuel that uh, white tractor next because I think that's going to need a uh, smidgen of fuel. It was running kind of low last time I checked on it. And we want to just keep everything moving today. I haven't checked on that swather in a while though, so we might have to do that soon as well. Well, there we are, all filled up here. Um, you know what? I think we're just going to leave the truck right out here for now in case we do need to refuel something else. We've got that option. And I don't think the combine's quite near full yet, but we're going to hop in here and I'm just going to unload on the uh, go on the long way down as long as I'm right here. And then we're going to go check on that swather, make sure he didn't get into uh, any new trouble while we've been over here messing around with everything else. So the course play driver wanted to come down here and do all these little bits and pieces back and forth. I think what we're going to do instead is uh, take over here and take the whole pass off in a uh, one or two swaths. Uh, we'll have to obviously come back in here and clean this all up with the combine afterwards by hand, but this is going to work so much better if I just uh, take these bits out manually here. We're already made a big mess of it, unfortunately. Whoa! I don't know what just caused this thing to go steering off to the side like that. That was uh, really odd. Now, the hard part of this is actually going to be figuring out where we uh, pick up after all of this. Uh, maybe what I'll do is turn that header off and I'll swing right around here and I'll try and pick up on the shortest or the nearest waypoint as if I was driving right here. And hopefully it'll go back and pick up wherever we're supposed to go next on uh, the entire field here, I suspect, uh, right over into this area. But we'll find out in a second here, I guess. There he goes. We are getting low on fuel in this swather as well, so hopefully we can finish this field before I need to refuel, but we do have the truck out here with some fuel left in it if we need it. Our combine has been going nicely here. We're on all these little short rows, so really we're just spending a lot of time trying to pick up all of the uh, swaths that we got here. Not going to worry about him too much. I want to keep an eye on our swather buddy here. This little part of the field is one of the strangest uh, courses I've ever seen course play generate here. I think it's getting confused right now on this uh, crazy angle. Yeah, it uh, it's off its rocker. Alright, let's go ahead and take over here. I think what it was trying to do is get over to this point here. So I'm going to go ahead and try and help a guy out. Nope, stop, stop. I don't think I got close enough to the point that I intended. Alright, now I think we're headed to where I want to go. Let's find out. That looks about right. Good deal. 
Every once in a while, it just needs a little bit of help. All right, it looks like we're actually just about done with swapping here. I think that's the end of the course right there after he uh, does this next round. So that works out nicely. We'll be able to pack this guy up and get him off of the field here. Um, and then we're, yeah, we're just waiting on the uh, combine to catch up here. There's a whole lot of uh, short rows that the combine's been working on. So I think what I'm going to do is just grab the swather here now that we're done and maybe go around and hit a few of these uh, little bits that we've missed. There's some corner pieces and such where we've left a significant amount of uh, crop on the field. So I'm going to just knock those out and maybe when we're cleaning up with the combine we'll feel like it was worth it to come and pick these bits up. Maybe we'll just leave a couple of bushels on the field if it's uh, going to be too much of a hassle. I know there's kind of a trade-off to how much time and fuel with that combine I want to spend on things. This is all looking pretty good. Um, in fact, yeah, I, I'm not even sure I'm going to drive that thing out there. I think what I'll do is just uh, drive this over here next to the truck and see if we can get it refueled as long as I've got fuel in here. I'm going to back it up right along the fuel tank here. I'm pretty sure the refuel triggers on this side of the truck. There we are. Perfect. Well, in that case, let's just uh, shut this thing down right there. No need to uh, run around with it. I'm really not seeing a lot of areas here. Maybe a little bit in that corner I could grab. But uh, all in all, we did a pretty good job. I'm going to jump back in our uh, trusty grain cart here, which is almost full. And I'm going to try and go catch up with the combine here. I think the combine's doing some stupid short rows right up at the uh, top of the field here where I want to put some grass in and separate these two fields for the next uh, iteration of harvest here. But for today, we've just got to deal with it. Yeah, these are uh, ridiculously short rows. I don't even think he's going to grab most of the uh, crops off of them, but that's all right. I'm going to circle around here. We'll see if I can just top off the grain cart as he comes back this way. I'm going to assume he's going to grab this one next. I have assumed poorly, apparently. What an odd course play course. Well, I guess instead, we're just going to follow him around until we figure out where he's going. Ah, right here. All right. This should be a row long enough to empty out a little bit. There we go. I'm just hoping to get topped off early. I don't think I'm quite going to empty the combine. Nope. We're good to go. Back to the semi we go. All right. Let's see here. Now, this semi... What? you got to be kidding me every time. Now, I can never remember how much this semi holds. I just know that a uh, grain cart is not going to fill up the front hopper here. So we're going to just uh, keep trucking, get it unloaded, and uh, yeah, we're kind of in a waiting game. I mean, honestly, that combine's going to unload or uh, go for a while here before he really needs to be unloaded. I guess I didn't get him all the way emptied out there, but uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're just about wrapped up on harvest here. I'm excited for sure. All right, all emptied out here. I am going to just run back over here and uh, unload the combine right away again. Since uh, we didn't get him emptied out of this uh, before we came over here, I think he's probably a little over half full already. Might as well zip over here. I am a little concerned right now with the level of daylight we've got left. I am going to break on my uh, 6x time a little bit here. We're not expecting any weather uh, right now, and I just don't want to be harvesting in the dark. So I'm going to bump us down to half time and just... Uh, finish up harvest today and make life easy I think we are indeed not nearly that full as I uh, expected we'd be so that's all right we'll go ahead and just uh, empty off here and then uh, let him do his thing a little bit without us being in the way and there we go all right I'm gonna jump across our windrow here we'll put this guy right out of the way and we've got plenty of uh, combining to go so Let's let this guy go. We'll check back in in just a little bit and see where we're at. All 
right, we are back checking in here. The combine was uh, full. So we're topping off the grain cart here. Not that many rows left. Some short rows over here. And then there's like one or two awkward rows over on the other side there that we missed for some reason. So I think we're going to have to just go back there and uh, manually finish those off. That's all right. There we go. Grain cart's all topped off. Let's see if I can sneak around here and get in front of the combine. I don't know if I'm going to get a whole nother semi-full here or not of canola. I was actually uh, originally thinking we were going to get a lot more canola off of this field than we did. It looks like we're going to end up at uh, shy of two full semi-loads, so... We've got plenty of bin space. I just wonder if I should have ended up uh, swapping the peas and the canola in the bins around or not. We'll see when we bring this uh, semi back over there, though. Well, I guess we did fill the front hopper here at least, so maybe we've got a little bit more than I, uh, I thought, but we'll see. I know the combine's still got some in it, but trying to unload on those little tiny short rows is going to be a exercise in frustration I think so I think instead we'll just wait for him to get done and maybe bring him over here to unload before we go back out and uh, start tackling the parts that got missed we're gonna shut this thing down get it out of the way a little bit here and yeah we're just on these uh, ultra short rows here so I could honestly you know get rid of a uh, course play at this point I think it's just going to be uh, more getting in the way than anything else and uh, let's see if we can manage to pick the rest of this up ourselves without making a giant mess of things all right final pass here and then we've got just scraggly bits all over the place here I don't even know where to begin with them all so we'll just uh, I don't know swing back in here pick up some parts one way, swing around, pick up some more parts the other way. We'll get it all done. All right, I think I saw a big swath right at the entrance here that we need to pick up still. And then we'll probably unload what I've got in the combine here just before we drive out to the other part of the field to pick up any missing bits over there. Not that I really expect to uh, have the combine get full, but it's uh, just easier on the off chance that I'm surprised and there's a whole bunch of stuff out somewhere that we missed somehow. We're definitely not going to have a full rear hopper here, though. It's going to uh, be, uh, well, we probably won't even get it half full. So that's uh, quite interesting. Less than two semi loads of canola. Uh, I figured with both of these fields uh, set up the way that we had them and uh, the great yield modifiers we had on everything that we were going to see a significantly higher yield off of this field. But I guess canola is just not that voluminous of a crop. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep going at it. Um, looks like I've got some over here too. We're going to be just zigzagging all over this field uh, looking for uh, missing swaths to pick up. I'll be curious to take a uh, note here. That's the other reason why I kind of wanted to uh, empty out before we left is just how many bushels are we going to find out here doing this? And what would that roughly have been worth? That will tell me if uh, we should be wasting our time picking up these uh, scraggly bits in the future or not, I suppose. And of course, this is the part we manually did back here in the corner. So... I knew we'd have to get back here for that. We're already at four and a half bushels though, so I'm pleasantly surprised. There's more sitting back here in places than I expected. And uh, last but not least, I think we've got to clean up this long stretch where we uh, ended up going diagonal down the field with the swather. I have no idea what happened here, but we're gonna just uh, grab what we can of this. There's a couple of little tiny bits over here like that that we're not going to bother picking up. I've picked up a handful of them, most of them, honestly, and they've only been worth, you know, just a, you know, not even a 0.1 bushel when you fly over them. So it's not worth the time and energy to get every little spot off of the field. But uh, these big swaths like this, they, uh, they do add up. 
And I don't know, that might look like a little bit bigger of a pile to my left. Maybe I should swing over there and grab that real quick like. We're at uh, just over 25 bushel now already, which is quite impressive. I wasn't expecting to get quite this much from the little bits and pieces, so it was worth our time to come out here then and uh, do what we did. Now, let's see if we can uh, pick up this last little bit and be done with our harvest. I'm really curious to see what our total haul was in once we get it into the bins here. We're sitting at a whopping 35 bushels here from uh, picking up all the missing bits and pieces. So we're going to just go ahead and dump that off into our semi-trailer here right quick. Get the combine all folded back up. And let's go dump this grain and see where we're at. There we go. Here we go. And we're unloading. We're running out of daylight fast here. I want to just uh, finish getting this ready before uh, that happens. We're scooting forward. Oh, no. I think that whole auger and everything is uh, also moving as uh, the scooting happens. All right. Front hopper empty. Let's get switched over for the rear hopper, and as soon as this uh, thing empties out, I can pull ahead. We've got a uh, little bit faster of a unload on the semi than on uh, these hoppers, obviously. That's all right. It seems to be working good for us. And that's the end of our canola go ahead and just uh, shut this down here for a second. We run over here. Uh, yeah, we're not quite uh, going to be getting to the full capacity here. Looks like we might top off around 100. 91. Very nice. So I've got 91,000 in there. If I look at the lentils, uh, not the lentils, it was it the peas that we filled up. So the peas were 130 in a small bin, and the big bin is 160. So I could have definitely swapped these two out, and uh, and this won't tell me how much is in there. Uh, it's owned by me. The ag bag itself doesn't uh, tell me the capacity of it, unfortunately. But either way, it worked out. We've got everything going, and now I know for next time canola needs to get saved into a smaller bin because even on the big fields it just doesn't have that high of a yield the uh, peas seem to be like our winner from a uh, volume and uh, size category here although we did have two pretty big fields of peas so I don't know we're probably stressing out about it a little bit too much however we've ramped up another harvest here on Edgewater Saskatchewan exciting times I can't wait to sell these crops off. If we take just a quick look here, our totals for the year coming out of the field is uh, 62 and a half uh, thousand liters of wheat, 91,000 liters of canola, 130,000 liters of peas, plus whatever's in the bag that I don't know about, and 12,000 liters of lentils. So Adding this up real quick, we've got, you know, 200, you know, $300,000 worth of uh, money, even more if you consider all of the peas that uh, we can't see in the bag. I'm excited. This is looking good. It should be a, a fair amount of money for us. We're honestly not in that much debt, so that's going to give us the capital to go ahead and pick up some more equipment, do some more upgrades, and keep the farm running, I think, here. So let me know in the comments what kind of things you think we should do uh, as we move into the next year here on the farm. Like I said, next episode, I think we're going to be uh, cleaning up some of these fields, trying to make this field work a little bit better with course play. Uh, just getting things generally ready for the planting season. Maybe clean up a couple of these trees, balance out some of these curves. You know, it's it's one of those things, right? I could take off, you know, one, two, three trees and really bring this curve around to a much more gentle angle 
and I think that'd help us out a lot in this field. Same thing over here, just uh, you know, a couple two threes. I don't want to get rid of the entire contour, but we might dial it back a little bit. So I'm going to play around with that in my head, and next episode we'll dive into that together. That's all for today. Ketterk out. We're going to park this field back out on the truck and on the truck out on the field. We're going to park this field on the truck. Awesome. Just hold the camera still. Don't move it around all the time.